Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our GA4 series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about debug view in GA4. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's get to know what is debug view. Okay. So for learning more about debug view, we'll go to the official documentation of GA4, you know. So you can see over here, I'm in the official documentation of GA4. GA4 monitor events in debug view. Monitor events from your website or mobile app as analytics collects them. Debug view displays the events and user properties that analytics collect from a user in real time allowing you to troubleshoot issues as you install your tags or a step through an external user's live activity. You must enable debug mode to use debug view. Enable debug mode. You can enable debug mode for the events for your personal device or for the events from all user devices. When troubleshooting your tag installation, it's best to enable debug mode for your personal device so you can easily identify your device from debug device in debug view this selection describes how to enable debug mode for a website to enable debug mode for an android or ios app see this article so you can see over here they have given us some instructions on how to enable debug mode for yourself you know so we have two options one is google tag gtag.js and another one is Google Tag Manager. Okay. So I'm going to provide this doc link in the video description so that you can study further about debug view. Okay. So let's see how we can enable debug view from GA4 dashboard and how we can see the live events. Okay. So for enabling debug view, I will go to the option called admin. Okay, then if I scroll down a little bit, I have an option called debug view. Okay, so I'll go to the tag manager and I'm going to preview some events from here. Okay, so I'll click on preview. I need to put my website URL over here. Okay, so I'll click on connect. then we'll go to the analytics section and let's see whether page view event is firing or not you know so just wait a little bit you can see over here page view event is firing Okay, so if I go to the contact us form, so I'm gonna go to the contact us and fill up a lead form. Okay, so this comment I'll write demo. Okay, then I'm gonna choose flags from here and click on contact us okay so you can see over here thank you for your message it has been sent so let's go to the analytics and see whether generate lead event is firing or not you know so you can see over here generate lead event is firing so we can see it in a real time so for seeing those event whether they are working or not in real time, you can use this option called debug view. So hopefully you have a clear understanding on how we can enable debug view and how we can see the real time events in debug view. Yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye bye.